be prudent uh, to come today, meet, uh, review our, the state of the operating environment in the context of uh, the meetings that we've been having with uh, Ranyati and uh, uh, the police at large. But also we thought it's also a good opportunity for you to uh, meet uh, Assistant Commissioner Nyati and the uh, police spokesperson on the eve of, 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 of the election. So we appreciate that he's very busy. Uh, he has other meetings that he has to go to, but he um, uh, arrived uh, in time for our engagement. So I hope we'll be fast and we'll be able to release him. Uh, thank you. So I'll, I'll just start by perhaps asking our trustee, the Mr. Trustee, Mr. Jakatira, to give uh, some opening remarks and then I'll also allow uh, Assistant Commissioner Nyat to give uh, some remarks and then you can have a few questions. Thank you very much. In the interest of time, I will uh, say, I mean, I only recognize the presence of Nyat. Uh, good morning. I'm glad that this follow-up uh, engagement between the media and the police is coming at the opportune time when the country is on the eve of a, I mean, of a watershed election. The engagement process between the Zimbabwe the, the Public Police and representatives of media organizations led by Mr. Zimbabwe began in September 2016. This has resulted in a cordial relationship between the police and the media. A key takeaway from the engagement is that the police agreed to train its personnel on the role of journalists thereby strengthening the relationship between the two parties. I'm glad that the police now have a greater appreciation of the role that the media play in informing and educating the nation. In the past, there were several incidents in which journalists, in the course of doing their lawful work, were attacked by the police. Such incidents are now very rare or even non-existent. I'm glad that most of the resolutions from the engagements between the police and the media are being observed. In the interest of time, I will not uh, now go into the resolutions and I will proceed uh, to say, ladies and gentlemen, the elections are upon us and it is key that we fully uh, uh, understand the important role that the, uh, the media play in informing and educating the nation about the, uh, uh, the electoral processes. In the same vein, it is also important that we remain professional in conducting our work. In doing our work, let us uh, ensure that we conform to the laws uh, on the conduct of elections so that we continue enjoying these cordial relations with the police. To do that, we must, I mean, we must make sure that you, uh, uh, we know uh, the Electoral Act. Let's avoid the use of hate language in our way. And in the same way, let us not provide platforms to, uh, to rock politicians to incite uh, uh, people elsewhere. Reporters and the, uh, have been jailed for promoting hate language and inciting communities to commit to, to commit crimes against humanity. In December 2003, the International Criminal Tribunal uh, for Rwanda sentenced three scribes who played a role in inciting the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. The journalists Hassan Ngezi, Jean Bosso, Barang Wangwiza, Fidnat Naimana were sentenced to life in prison. Their sentence follow the jailing of a, a, a Belgian reporter, Georges Rougiou, who was uh, jailed for 12 years in 2000 after pleading guilty to direct and public incitement to commit genocide. A then popular radio presenter, Valerie Peremiki, is serving a life sentence for a role in promoting violence. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to avoid, to avoid falling into these situations by ensuring that we remain professional is not used by politicians. With these few, a few remarks uh, allow me to thank you for the kind attention and just remember that elections are, are very sensitive and can be a source of conflict is evidenced by past events elsewhere. Fellow comrades, let's not be the catalyst of this through misinformation, disformation, less speech and excitement. I thank you. Thank you, Trustee Jagachi. Uh, I will now allow uh, Assistant Commissioner Nyat to also address uh, the media. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning, colleagues. We are all colleagues. Uh, we are one family uh, as media practitioners. I'm also 
uh, one of your colleagues. I want to acknowledge the presence of MISA, uh, Board of Trustees, uh, my brother uh, Kelvin Chagachira, the Deputy Police Spokesperson, Chief Supreme Chishaka, who was in Mashingo with Marvin yesterday. Uh, Marvin, uh, part of the MISA management team, uh, colleagues from the various uh, media houses uh, represented. Uh, this is just an update where we just want to update each other. I know you are very busy. People uh, are expecting you guys to be running around starting from today, tomorrow, until the election results are announced. And uh, we want to firstly urge you to prioritize your safety first as you move. Uh, don't uh, relax. Uh, so far, so good. We want to thank uh, the media, to be quite honest, on behalf of the Commissioner General of Police, I want to thank the media for the existing peaceful environment in our country. You have played your part. And also for the good relations which are existing between the police and the media. There is no agreement, to be quite honest. We have found each other. Uh, and uh, as the police, we respect the important role played by the media in our country is outlined in terms of section 61 and 62 of the country's constitution. And uh, we are saying we save one constituent, which is the people of Zimbabwe. And uh, what it entails is the police has to be given the space to perform their duty, the media has to be given space to perform their duty, and in doing so, we must respect our diversity. The police is there to maintain law and order. The media is there to provide information to us. And some of our messages, they can only get to the people through the media. That's why we are saying, to be quite honest, as the police, we appreciate the role which is being played by the media in our country. So far, so good. What it means, we need to give ourselves a pamper. We need to acknowledge what the media has done so far. Uh, as we speak, the Commissioner General of Police will be issuing out a statement on the elections eve uh, in the afternoon. Uh, after a meeting with some observers, we are going to have a meeting with some observers uh, shortly. Um, then the Commissioner General of Police will issue a statement. And I can assure you, we are going to avail that statement to all media houses. Uh, but uh, all in all, it has been good so far. I, would, I don't want to preempt what the Commissioner General of Police is going to say, but we want to thank you. Uh, I know uh, everyone is busy. Uh, the police has made the deployments. And, uh, the journalists, you are credited, I know. You will be moving around. But also take note that as you move around, when you approach polling stations, the person who is in charge of the polling stations is the presiding office. The police officers are there to maintain law and order. So in terms of access to information, you have to go through the presiding office. Eh? The good thing, most of you are accredited. And uh, you can easily access the presiding officer to get information on instances at the polling station. Uh, and our officers will duly cooperate with you. But all in all, what I want to say is, uh, if there are any challenges in terms of the policy side, please let us know. Because since January, we've moved a journey together. Since January, we've agreed on an action plan. That action plan is assisted. And to be quite honest, since January up to now, we have not had any major incident involving a journalist and the police, to be honest. Since we started moving around with the the Media Alliance of Zimbabwe, the Media Institute of Southern Africa, the Zimbabwe Union of Journalists. Uh, you know, our, our, our environment in terms of the safety of journalists has improved. But let us not relax. Eh? Let us not relax because we are saying, uh, because we have engaged with the police. We have said we must engage all stakeholders in the country so that they appreciate the role of the media as they perform their fourth estate role. I would give and gentlemen. But all in all, I want to thank you for the cooperation which is existing between us and the media. 
that should continue beyond the elections. <clears throat> this relationship should be nature. It should continue beyond the elections. I, I would get the uh, Marvin and Mr. Chagachira. That's my plea to you guys to say what we have established now should be allowed to continue beyond the elections. Yes, personalities, they come and go, but our relations will remain, and they will remain for the benefit of Zimbabweans. They will remain for the benefit of the country. So we want to urge all of us, the policy side and the media side, to make sure that this relationship continues. And if there are issues which you feel that the police should correct, please feel free to tell us. The Commissioner General of Police has said the media are part of us. And also, on our part, if there are issues which we feel the media should correct, we we'll certainly highlight that. But to be honest, at the moment, we don't have issues with the media. My concern is, let us not relax. Let us continue to prioritize our safety, particularly as we move covering these elections. And I want to applaud Misa for what he have done. Because you started this in, the, in January, and we have moved. Where we have moved, we have not had challenges up to today. So that is very commendable. Thank you very much. Uh, so, so let's feel free to, 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 to discuss. I, I, I know the guys from, 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 from uh, radio stations want me to say in Shona. Uh, if you allow me to say it. Shona in Shona in Right. Uh, Sema Puri says Zimbabwe Republic Police Toda ku tenda Kushanda guru kuita Vatori vena umu Zimbabwe Nema Puri says Zimbabwe Republic Police Tafamba ruendo Kuvamuna jama waru kushuka hiko shunoishu Nenye zukuona kuti Vatori vena uvaka chenge teze Kapaningi wa chita basa Toda ku tenda ve Mida isi to Southern Africa Nevamu wa wano shanda nao we media alliance of Zimbabwe, we Zimbabwe ino of journalists. Noguti itawana kuti kubwa januari kushuka hiko junoishu. Atina nyaya ya tingati susu ya kaitika ino kanganisa mjiza na kuma purisa ni matuwelewe nao. Zunu swa tuda kuti kutenda iso so kuti e, warumia warambu wa chita basara wana misi chakachira ni chikwata chao kuti ukama wedu warambu wakasi mba sisi wa shiru. Noguti watuwelewe nao wari po kubata ni zawa. Isha shindo ucho kwa di. Vatuwe wei na wari kupa kubata ni zao. Nuguti muno fambi sama shoku. Chore isusu sema puri sama shoku. Yedi kuta ashike mwana. Anushika mwana. Nukuda wakwe vatuwe wei nao. Saka uchimi zibasa renyu. Sekuta rauneta constitution. Chitakata sa section 61 and 62. Raka kosha. Pa muno famba pese. Otoda wati wawo. Security enyu. Upenyu enyu. Unge wakachinge teze. Kandu sa tuti. Pa muno kukava my elections ae. Musa relax. Wone kuti. Security ya nyaka chenge tezeka. Mapurisa pesi pa wani ngewari, makasu nungu kako wa aprocha, mchivu wa tuchivara tuwewe nao, chichenge tezeka pano mchita basa. Pati pareshu ni shundu daku tenda shukuru, kuti ruendo ratafamba, nana misa ya wawawa, kufaji januwa, ruwa yikita kuti, tiwe ni environment ya tiri nasa. Yekuti mapurisa ni majenalisi wano tutawza, wano tumbo sanga. Kuni chitari sa kari, tatisinga jite izozo. Tengere chito tukana iko shunishu. I'm telling you the truth. Tengere chito tukana. Ndi majinaisi wangari ya chito chikota. Asaka nasi chaito wa seti ya sungwe rena mapurisa. So this spirit should continue for the benefit ya mazimbabwe. Notice atisu zikitra mapurisa, atisu zikitra majinaisi. Tudu zikitra mazimbabwe. Kutu nike edi budirire. Ichi budirira ninye kuti. Mapurisa wano sa wati majinaisi wano shanda wakadai. Ma generalist wano sa watu mapurisa wano shanda wakadai. Tuto sanga na pakati, tichibatira muri ye Zimbabwe. Tina njenge Zimbabwe Republic Policy, subonga kakulu, ave misa, mida isi to South in Africa. Njengo wali abono ugu, chikusuke lango januari, sipote, ilizwe lonke, sikuluma le tatele zindawa, la mapolisa, uma esiti tina, ama officer commanding district, Officer Commanding Province. Ugutukube logu zwaana ugusevenza. Nga zisevenza la pana ugutama polisa ibesenza lesena ilene siti tina menteni loe ndota ama journalisti ve snigeza information ibe tinga information ende loko wenza uguti elizwe nisibe logu tula lingana nzila katesi ama elections akona kusasa 
agule inda besi china katesi yulo umchenali sumbe istateli inda uchawi la ma police so standa ugutu logo siku inza ya katesi kukoweke pambili even after elections siapo so I think let's discuss if there are issues let's discuss maybe for the next five minutes thank you I think I need to very Clarify or I'm sure I'm gonna assist the commissioner now to answer that I don't be able to answer. So I'll take questions from my brother and my brother. Yes, yes, yes. Commissioner General of Police Waka Jikesa Waka Tinyaya Ichiruku Ferefetwa Uye Zetaka Mirira Post Mortem Report Kufaku Nana Chiremba Ndo Patiri Koshuna Tosi Ziwa Kutuwa Nwano Daku Taura Shaka Wanda Patinda Ngari Chukumbiri Sao Vatuerewe Nao Newe Rujinchi Utingati Mirirei Ma Investigations Inga Taka Wimbi Sao Wano Tuku Fea Iso Zeta Sunga Wano Fishi Ndi wano 15 ya waka enda kumatari waka nzo wano zuka kudare rezi mwusha mwusha 11 september 2023. So ndo uchi kumbiro cha atina acho. Kutitanga chungo kumbira kuti despite my emotions atina au katungo mirirai tutakatawala na Commissioner General kuti takamira post mochi miripoti ichabu da manji manji. Ok. There was a hand here. Then my brother. Yes. Thank you so much. My question is Okay. For for those in Harare, you can get this number zero seven one two three two two. Seven one one. That's Commissioner Tembo, the Officer Commanding Arare Province. You can also get a ask for those in Arare on zero seven one six eight zero one one double eight. Then for those outside Arare, we are going to share the numbers on our Twitter platform soon after this meeting, where we also have the numbers for the other Officers Commanding Province for the journalist. Who are outside Harare? Uh, thank you. Yes, my friend. Okay, I'm Max Wapumwana from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. As from tomorrow is a uh, voting day, mm -hmm. and uh, in the past we have had some political players urging mm -hmm. their supporters uh, to remain kept at polling stations mm -hmm. soon after casting their votes mm -hmm. with a view of protecting their votes. Mm -hmm. As police, what's your comment on that? Uh, I, I alluded to the fact earlier on that the Commissioner General of Police will be issuing a statement in the afternoon. Just wait for the Commissioner General of Police statement. And they certainly will avail the statement to all media houses. Uh, I can take maybe three other questions. Ladies. Are you happy? You don't have anything to ask? Yeah, this is, this is okay. Okay. Yes, my brother at the back. Yes, uh, I, just, I just wanted to know for interest, you spoke of police deployment. Are you satisfied that the Zetara pay that your deployments will be able to handle any eventualities tomorrow? Why I'm saying that is because the big incident of violence lately that you know that and tomorrow is obviously a day of emotions what do you want to 
in you, eh? Hmm. Okay. Uh, what you are alluding to is adequately covered in the statement made by the Minister of Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage, Honorable Kazimbe Kazimbe, last night, and also just wait for the Commissioner General of Police statement which is coming out in the afternoon. But suffice to say, anyone who will try to cause any mischief during the election day or after the election day will have himself or herself to blame. That's what I can say for now. Uh, any more questions? Uh -uh. Yes. Okay, how will you deal with Speech. If someone uh, uses that speech and there is evidence to the effect, I can assure you action will be taken. And at the same time, we want to appeal to the media, we want to appeal to the public that uh, if they have got uh, credible information that a particular person or a particular entity is using that speech, they are free to engage the police so that uh, investigations can be conducted and the due process of the law will certainly be followed. <laughs>